Is this a great state or what? Is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Welcome back. Ever since the U.S. Supreme Court handed down its McGirt ruling, the issue of how to administer justice on tribal lands has been a hot topic. And it got Galen Culver to thinking about a unique spot in Wawoka where traditional Native American and modern jurisprudence meet. It's been here for a couple hundred years, this towering pecan tree. It predates the Seminole County Courthouse itself. Most people around here, even the people with business in the upstairs courtrooms, have forgotten its deep roots. Those, those branches have been pruned. And but historian Richard L. Wanger will often point visitors to a stone sign at the tree's base and the title conferred on this tree more than a hundred years ago. The whipping tree. The Seminoles were known for their swift and effective justice. From the time of removal in the 1830s to just before statehood, the Seminole Nation administered justice in the county. Their light horsemen acted as police and took their jobs with deadly seriousness. Their light horsemen, their police force, was the most feared of all the light horsemen in the five tribes. But there were no jails. Punishment held to the mosaic law of eye for an eye in the form of lashes. That's where the whipping tree came in. They would bind your legs, and then the light horsemen would administer however many lashes the tribal council had adjudicated to you. There was another tree that once stood on the courthouse square as well. The Seminole chief and tribal council occasionally issued death sentences administered by firing squad. You would come wearing your finest clothes that you could afford, and the Seminole Light Horseman would cut a paper heart out and pin it to your chest as a target. A section of the execution tree, complete with bullet holes, has been on display in the Seminole Nation Museum since 2016. Oh, no. come over here. Their roots mix with the bloody soil of the Old West and the colored leaves with our own sense of right and wrong. The idea of justice and punishment is a, it's an eternal struggle. A touchable symbol of the questions we all still face beneath the spreading arms of justice. In Wewoka, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what?